Hi, I'm Naz and welcome to Art Club. Today we're going to be focusing on a beautiful theatre company called Theatre Yolo. I've been busy behind the scenes creating 200 creative play packs and I'd love to show you a bit more about them and take a look inside them today and what you can make. You can donate to the creative play packs and help other families create together by looking on their website and social media. Check out Theatre Yolo. First thing in your pack is an information sheet. It has the hashtag YOLO create and some information about what's inside your pack. Then is your lantern make, which is in English and Welsh. You can check out our other workshop online to see how to make these and you can make along with me. I would love to see what you make of these lanterns. They're really magical once they're lit up and in your pack is a little candle as well that you can light up your jars at home with. For the next one, here we have a storybook, an imagination book, which you can just use this template. So there's a shape template here that you can cut out and use for your book. This is really simple and easy to make, just A4 paper cut down into A5, and then you decide how many sheets of paper you put in it. And shapes and things you can use a template or you can make your own you could add a name on top or a tag if you like to and then I've started creating some little stories inside so I've drawn some artwork and some characters that might be in my stories later on and then um, I've looked at the weather and thought of the rainbows and started creating some little doodles so it could be a doodle book if you like Oh, these were my favourite. We have these lovely little puppets. So again, some information and images which you can download or look at in your creative packs. And then this is to create your own puppets. So you get some lollipop sticks in your pack, but you could use sticks from outside if you want to, or um, straws, even paper straws. So there's a template which has lots of shape designs on them. I've kept them nice and simple. You can make your own designs and templates as well. So you could draw your whole family, um, all sorts of things if you like to. So you can make your own stories. And then you just cut out each one if you like. You can make, you can trace these again if you want to keep them as templates. And then you start to add on your different things, which could be in your pack, you get some sticky eyes or you could cut out eyes in magazines or googly eyes, completely up to you. So just cut out your shapes and then you can start to decorate them. So I have a little piece wagon here. So I've started to add features and hair if you want to, or you can just keep them plain like a shadow puppet if you like. So I've started to add some characters on these, add some jumpers and some features and colours. So you don't have to colour them in exactly the colours that animals would be. You could make your own farm or your own wild scenes with lots of different characters. It's completely up to you. So then these then you could show and make your own puppet show. If you want to do a shadow puppet one, if you have a light that you can direct to it, you'll then be able to make shadows on the wall so i'll just show you a few now which is great fun so if you're creating a story then you could start to create your own scene you could even film this or make an animation and you'll be able to create shadow puppets which are great fun you could also do this with your box but i really like doing them across a wall um, and you could make a little show for your lovely family in your pack there's some black card you can just trace the designs and cut them out of black card so cut them here first and then out of black card really simple and then next these ones are great fun if you'd like to create your own character here i've created like a nature goddess so just some felt pen using a template and then i've just made some leaf shapes and just folded them in half just to get a little bit more uh, dimension there so in your pack is a mass template as well so two different sizes and shapes but you can make any shape you want you don't have to use this particular template you can adapt it you can trace it once you've cut it and just keep making different shapes and patterns i've started making another one here which is more of a golden goddess i think here so you can keep them really simple and they're just using so for this one for example that's just felt and pattern and then a lollipop stick just to hold it in place you can use your glue stick to glue it on or a bit of pva glue or even some tape if you have at home and then this one here 
You can add some strings. So if you look on the back of your templates, they have markings there that you can pop some string in. You can wear that around your face and make some superpower magic. I've then used the template to cut out the lightning bolts here and I've added on some shapes in metallic cards. So in your pack, you'll get um, some metallic card that you can make and add some lovely metallic shapes with, but you could also use foil. So just use any tissue paper and you can stick that straight on your mask to add the colour. So that's all I've done there. Just take care with cutting out the eyes inside. So that is your lovely character masks. There's a template here to create your own headdress and there's also some images to help you with ideas. So you could create your own crown. Now all you're doing is cutting out the shape here and these two parts are the back panels. So they just stick straight onto the crown. With glue stick it's fine. Pop that around your head and just fit that in shape. You might need to just mark it with some pen and then glue that down. And then that is your king or queen of the world of crown. So again, you could make up lovely storylines to go with these. You can build out, so you can add things coming at the top. You can add streamers and tassels and things out of tissue paper or card. And then again, I've used the metallic card and some templates in the pack to create the lovely star um, crown here. I feel a bit like she were gone wrong. So yeah, as simple as that, cut that out. The two shapes are here. You've got the crown shape at the top and the one underneath is your more superhero shape there. So now you've seen lots of ideas of things you can make with your creative play pack. Use your imagination and I cannot wait to see what you make and create of all the wonderful things. Thank you for creating with me today with Art Club. Make sure you check out Theatre Yolo and donate if you can to their creative play packs or share and pass on the kindness. Follow Theatre Yolo, tag in your designs, hashtag YoloCreate.